Hi, we're back in Fusion 360, and we're going to go ahead and create um, a, a body and a component using the loft tool. <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do is save, and call it loft. Okay. So loft um, can be used. It's 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 excellent in. Uh, loft can be used from going from one two-dimensional shape to another two-dimensional shape and creating a 3D object that kind of morphs from one thing to another or hits, you know, a number of shapes along the way, okay, which you'll, which you'll see as we go forward here. So for loft to work, we're going to need uh, one or more, um, oh, sorry, or two or more uh, uh, sketches. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create our first sketch here. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and make this a rectangle. Okay, now I'm not going to be dimensioning here. You should dimension as you go forward uh, based upon your project requirements. So let's say I'm not going to dimension. I can't resist dimensioning. So, all right, so it just feels wrong not to dimension. All right, so here we have our first sketch. Now to create our second sketch, we could create it, uh, you know, we could click sketch. We could create it on a separate plane and then, and then law from there. But in order to get um, get sketches that are kind of floating in, whoops, to get sketches, notice I, I accidentally created a second sketch that we're going to right click, open up sketches, right click and delete. So cr to create a sketch that's kind of uh, uh, floating, not floating, it's 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 an offset from from an origin plane. What we're going to do is we're going to make a um, an offset plane. So we're going to click on offset plane. We're going to select uh, the plane that we want to offset from. And then we're going to go ahead and drag it up. Okay, so in this case, we're going to drag up uh, two inches. Okay, and there's our plane. So now this this offset plane here, this construction folder, has our plane one. And now we can go ahead and click sketch. Um, and now this sketch is going to live on plane one. Oops. So notice that our where we're drawing is now is now offset from our original uh, rectangle. And we can see that by rotating the cube. So see our original rectangle was on the origin plane. And our new uh, sketch is offset from that two inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and look kind of straight down so we can kind of see what, uh, what we're doing here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another rectangle, kind of a squarish right in the middle here. Right click and cancel. And we're actually gonna move this kind of offset it. So we're gonna use our dimensions to do that. So let's go ahead and make this dimension. Let's go ahead and we're gonna offset it from the side. We're gonna offset it two inches. Uh, and then from the top, also offset it another two inches. And so we're gonna have it kind of floating here uh, relative to uh, the underside the uh sorry the the rectangle that's on that's below it okay and we're going to make it 1.5 inches and we're going to go ahead and finish sketch okay so now we have these two rectangles one is in uh offset from the other by two inches and now we're going to go and we're going to do another uh plane here so we're going to select again a, the um the xy plane and we're gonna now we're going to offset this four inches so now we have a plane that's another two inches above uh, the initial plane that we had. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select that plane. And now we're going to go ahead and create a circle. Okay, a very small circle. And we're going to, uh, to make that um, 0.5 inches. And we're going to make this. Um, we're going to dimension it. And we're going to say that it's a... Uh, one inch um, offset from the side and one inch offset from the uh, other side. And we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. Okay, so now we have this, uh, these three sketches which are offset from each other by a specified amount. And now we're going to go ahead and create our loft. So let's go down to create, click loft, and we're going to select them in turn. So notice that now we're selecting our profiles. Okay, so here's our one profile, two profiles, and three profiles. Okay, so you can imagine that these could be ribs on, uh, you know, a, um, some kind of container. You can see that it, there are many, many different applications for this. Okay, so there we have created a simple loft. 
Now we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Bodies. We're going to right click on Body. We're going to uh, Create Component. Okay, and then we're going to go to Component 1. Right click. We're going to choose a physical material. Okay, we're going to go down. And this time we're going to make it copper. All right, so there we have it. A simple loft using three sketches and offset planes. Uh, best of luck.